Friends, get ready to be inspired. He survived a stroke, battled cancer, had hip replacement, and a back fusion. Get this, he's 70, and he is about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. I am so thrilled to introduce you to Marty Wolverine Schultz. He's like, you know what, just call me Marty. I'm like, no, I'm gonna call you Wolverine. How many of you have M fans? <laughs> oh, well, yes, you <laughs> so, can call me Wolverine. Okay, Marty, how are you? How do I look? You, I mean, you look amazing. You look like you're ready to go right now. I'm ready to uh, go. Yes. Okay, so you're a living miracle, an adventurer. Tell us a little bit about what you've gone through, getting knocked down but not knocked out. Well, you know, life is ups and downs, yes. valleys and peaks, and that's what I'm going to be hiking. Oh. So uh, you just keep going. Tell us, Marty, about your, your new adventure. You brought your backpack and some of your... Your things here that you will be, oh my goodness, you're going to carry all that. I'm going to carry that. Wow, what are you going to do, Marty? Tell us, we're excited. Well, this is the staging area right okay. here. Uh, Amicalola Park mm -hmm. Falls in Georgia. Okay. And you actually have to hike eight miles up that trail to get <gasps> to the start of the Appalachian Trail. Just to start. And then this is going to be a five to six months ordeal. Wow. I'll be hiking probably between 10 and 15 miles a day. Five to six. Oh, my goodness. And you're carrying all your gear. And I'm carrying this pack right now. Okay, That's what's in it. there? What types of things do you have that you're carrying with you? Well, there's my bedroll. Okay. There's my sleeping bag. Yeah. I've got a bear vault in there. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Well, I keep my food in. Okay, keep you, yourself protected. Yeah, I, and you only wear a one set of clothes, yeah. and then you have another set of clothes that you put on at night. Okay. Okay, so you don't put out a lot of clothes and stuff, but my tent's also in there too. And I'm just worried about you, okay? How, how dangerous is this, Marty? This is not dangerous at all. The okay. big, biggest concern down the trail is actually falls. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say about okay. the animals, the bears or whatever, yeah. but these are black bears that okay. are timid. They're timid, okay. They're, they're scared timid. of you. They're scared of us, Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And now, you have done so many things. You've, you're, you're an adventurer, and I know you're ready to go. You're in shape. You've prepared for this. You've done so many other things, too. I mean, you've, you're a survivor, you know? If anyone can do this, it's you. That's for sure. <laughs> How did you prepare for this? Well, i got to give a shout-out, if it's okay. P you do it, please. For Lake Effect... Uh, chiropractic okay. and training center in Bay City. Okay. They've prepared me. Yeah. Uh, I had a session today and I go out of there and my legs are like spaghetti. Yeah. You know, they're working on it. Wolverine, how did you say, I want to do this. I want to make this truck. I want, I want to make this adventure of a lifetime. How did you come to that conclusion? Well, it's there and I can do it. I but I've did a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. I've climbed up uh, Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. I've walked the Inca, hiked the Inca Trail down in Peru to Machu Picchu. Wow. I've always been an adventure seeker. Yeah. I've wondered what's over the next mountain, what's what, around the bend. And... What's the next thing you can conquer? Yes. Okay. And now you also give to charities as well. Y yes. This came about, it wasn't uh, started that way, but okay. it came about through some ladies at the emergency food pantry in Pinconning. Mm. And they put it together, but I had two conditions. What's that? One was that 100% of the funds raised goes to charity, and the other ones was that I got to pick the charities. Oh, okay. And I picked five charities. Great. I, I know that everything you do is, you're, you're so selfless, and you, you, you're you doing all of <laughs> you're these things. You're too kind. No. And you know what I, what, what I heard, I have to tell you this, Wolverine. You went to your mom's gravesite, and you had to ask permission, you know, and you say, you know, Mom, is it okay if I do this? And Martin, what did she say to you? She said, well, it's okay, but if something goes terribly wrong, I've got a place right here for you. She's waiting for you. Okay, so nothing. <laughs> She'll just wait for me a long time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Marty, I am so excited for you, and you've prepared well. You have all of your supplies here. What message do you have for other people who may be going through some type of situation, you know, battling cancer or, you know, recuperating from a stroke? It's like, or, you know, or they have a dream. Yes. Follow your dreams. Well, yes, my motto is just keep enjoying life. I love that. Okay. Keep enjoying life. When do you leave? I leave uh, April the 12th to fly down to uh, Georgia, okay. Atlanta, Georgia. I picked up 
by some friends. I'll stay there for two days, and yeah. then they'll take me out to the start of the trail, and I'll start hiking on the 15th. All by yourself? Yep, the whole there trail. There it is. Look at that, guys. The whole trail you. from Georgia to Maine. You've got this. That's a piece of cake for you, Marty. <laughs> Look at you. Thank you Thank so you much, much, Marty. I appreciate meeting you. Wolverine right here. We will. I will definitely be praying for you and keeping me in in your in my heart. Definitely. Thank you so much. Godspeed. You. You're so it's been welcome. A pleasure. It has been a wonderful pleasure meeting you. You've inspired <laughs> us all, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4 PM News at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. News Spotlight. Love you to death, Wolverine.